morning. I may not look like it, but I am sick as a dog. I am barely walking. I still have to make it to work. So, yeah, just this is a quick intro to my new top 10 video. I actually wanted to reshoot it because I think it's not very blue and it can be made a lot better. Um, I just wanted to get it out uh, today. And the problem is with me being that sick, the video is not gonna get better. Uh, it might be more fluid, it might be have a better flow. But overall, I will be sniffing a lot. I will have a very nasal voice. And for that reason, uh, please excuse me. Next top 10 videos I will prepare even better. Um, and you go to that. But now, having said all that, I'm gonna give you that's the first take <laughs> and all the takes so far. My top 10 World Cup winning jerseys. Enjoy. Okay, here we go. Absolutely new feature on my soccer universe. Top 10 and I want to run every week through one top 10. And I'm going to start it with a typically for this, because uh, I you know my soccer universe, uh, shirts are a big thing. And since I have here the winning shirts, I want to look at the top World Cup winning, top 10 World Cup winning shirts. Now it's not as straightforward as I thought initially, because I thought at least, okay, let's go through all the World Cup winning shirts and rank them. But I figured out soon that, you know, the shirts from the 30s, uh, even 50s, is really hard to a, get nice pictures and um, also with the colors. B, they are very similar. Um, it's, you know, I think the Brazil 70 and the Brazil 62, yes, there are slight differences, but they are, they are very minor. It's just the color is different. Also that um, the style from the 50s or 30s is a completely different one than nowadays. So um, it quickly became clear to me that, you know, I cannot just rank um, the 1930 Uruguay winning shirt against the 2010 Spain shirt. It's just not fair because the shirts have developed so far. I think I would probably feel more comfortable with going, you know, 50s, but even although I, loved, I like the strings on the color, for instance, for instance the, 90, the 1954 Germany shirt, also doesn't feel quite right because this is such a style that we'll never see again. Um, so this was the second part and the third part that, you know, they are just... The first one is no super reliable information pictures. Second one is they are quite similar. And the third one is that um, the style of this jersey is just not as modern anymore. If you look back there, I mean, if you look at the France jersey and the Brazil jersey or the, uh, the France jersey from 20 from 2000, there is already a big difference there. So what I did is I said, I take every World Cup winning shirt from which I have a full color picture, which means 1966. There is footage of the 1966 World Cup final uh, where we see color. I was thinking of going 1970, but I said, no, let's include the 1966 because uh, there is something special about that final in that it was the only final and note that it was won by a red shirt. Um, you know, there's this study that red shirts win more often, even Spain didn't win the World Cup in red. So that was the only time that a red shirt won the World Cup. There have also not been too many red shirts in a World Cup final. Hungary twice, the Czechs, I think that's it, England, Croatia if you want. So you see there is a big, uh, this with the red, doesn't hold up very well. And yeah, I'm gonna run now through my top 10, going from 10 to, um, from 10 to one. I initially had it from 1982 because that would be exactly 10, but then I said, I'm just sorting 10 and I wanna just, I wanna be able to leave out. So we have 14 shirts, 10 of which I'll present here. And at the end, I'll give you the, um, a ranking of the last ones. Also, this is my personal list and what I think are the shirts. How did I compile this list? Uh, partly, I looked at all the World Cup finals, 
kind of etched those in my memory. I mean, some of them are etched in my memory anyway. And then I went from 1966, compared the 1966 to 1970, ranked those two, then went with a 74 jersey, went from the top uh, best one, second best, where would I rank it, 78, and so on, and so on, until I had a ranking. Uh, you know, kind of methodologically, I know this will be controversial, because my tastes are not your tastes, that's clear, and there are certain shirts that I know are very popular that even didn't make this list. So with all that, let's get to it. Number 10. Number 10 is the 1974 Germany or West Germany shirt, which is in many ways the quintessential Germany shirt. It is white, it has the eagle, it has the uh, black crew neck, I think it has even black sleeve trims. Um, very simple shirt, but also very classic shirt. And it's a typically 1970s, you know, in the 70s and 60s, the shirts are all very similar. If you look at the 1966 World Cup final Germany jersey, it's very similar to that one. Uh, also note that many players wore long sleeves, although it was played in June. I think it's the Germany shirt, in my opinion. Uh, every Germany shirt compares to that one in 2016. They kind of tried to copy that one. So I think this was a great Germany shirt back then as well. So this Quintessential German shirt. At number nine, going four years later, 78 Argentina jersey. Argentina jersey to me as well. Um, it is just blue and white. And what I like, it has the bold center strap in blue, white, blue. So I like it when the um, darker color is in the center. Uh, I wish maybe that the color could actually use some black since you wear black pants, you have a little bit connection there, but it actually looked all right. Um, they also wore long sleeves. I like that the sleeves are also striped. Um, that World Cup final is one of the views that is a, a rather unusual jersey matchups uh, anyway. And this was Argentina's first victory in a World Cup final. Um, absolute nice classic shirt. I think that shirt should always be taken as a reference point for Argentina. Let's go to number eight. I said the Germany 74 jersey is the quintessential one. I rate actually the 2014 Germany home jersey higher. Why? Yes, it doesn't look anything like a Germany jersey. Let me. Uh, the Germany that I grew up with looks like a 74 Germany or uh, something to that regard. But what I like about this jersey is the entire kit in white. I hated it and I couldn't understand it at first, but this jersey has grown on me a lot. Um, with the chevron there, it's a very bold look. Uh, it's a very clean look and it represents to me a modern Germany. It makes, deliberately goes away from the past into the present and makes a modern look out of it. Uh, and kind of a bold look also. I mean, it is red, it is white, um, the black is gone, which makes it makes it leaner. It reminds me of a German sports car, with the Chevron anyway. So um, that's what I like about it, and there's just a little bit more, and I actually think that in years to come, we will look at this shirt and actually say, this has aged well. I know the outcry was huge when they were starting to play it. I still find when Germany plays with white pants, uh, it looks odd. But in this particular World Cup, and if I look at that final, the, I can surely say that the better shirt won. And that this shirt, it is kind of an iconic look. I gotta say it, as much as I didn't like it, but uh, if you read my blog post, I didn't give it a bad rating either. That shirt is growing on me a lot, and I'm almost want to go as far as saying if I ever want to get a Germany shirt that one could be up there. Just saying. Uh, I'm surprised at myself because I thought I will for sure leave that one out but when I looked at it that shirt stands in a way up. It's unique but it's not bad unique and that's something you gotta achieve. So therefore at number eight I have the 2014 Germany shirt. Now at number seven, we're gonna get to the 98 France home shirt. 
For France, the problem is that the best shirts are usually worn at the Euros. Uh, and the France 98 shirt uh, is in a way a rip off of the 1984 Euro winning shirt, which is an absolute classic. But what I like is that it dares to be different in the sense that you have the white collar with the France flag, which is a great feature that I like. Um, the pattern is not all encompassing, it's a little bit um, denser. It has also the piping here in the French flag and it has this very nice royal blue. I prefer the 1984 shirt, but I think the white collar is something that I prefer on that shirt better. I also think that the shirt, while it's definitely dated, it still doesn't look very badly and it's definitely a shirt that I would like to have in my collection. I like this France shirt better, the 2002 one, but the 98 one is a shirt that I totally regret not having. It was a good, great shirt and I think it deserves well to be uh, number 7 on my list. Let's go to number 6 and we'll stay with France and it is this one up there, the 2018 France home jersey. To me the two France jerseys were almost a tie because there are features on one that I like better and the other uh, I could have had them on a tied six spot. In the end my wife made the tiebreaker. Uh, why did I go for the 2018 version? I like the royal blue better on the 98 version. However, I really love how the current France shirt with the dark blue looks. I love the crest. I love the cleaner look of it. Uh, yes, there should be red on a France jersey, um, but I think that the 98 jersey has a little bit too much going on. I think the, the 2018 jersey does not beat the 2000 jersey, for instance. However, the 98 jersey with the three additional stripes and all the piping, as nice as I find it, it is not as clean of a look. And even with the weird shoulder pattern that the 2018 jersey has, I actually like that one. This was the reason why I wanted to get the jersey. Um, and then take the cockerel crest, that one. That one beats the golden crest from the, 2000, uh, the 1989 one. And for that, just a tad better. Now, I also gotta say that I think as a kit, the 98 kit, the whole ensemble was much better than the 2018 one. 2018 in all um, navy, I didn't like that one. I like it blue, white, and red. I understood it in that particular final, but that's, this is seemingly not a look that's gonna get adopted for a while. I don't like it. Okay, we're gonna go to the top five. Which jersey is next? On five, we go all the way to the other side. We're gonna go to this jersey, 94 Brazil. Um, my wife said, I don't see why this one is better. And I tell her, A, I think I like the brightness and B, sentimental reasons. Um, the 1990 World Cup is the first one where I really remember watching the first World Cup I saw was the World Cup final. The first World Cup game I saw was the 1986 World Cup final. It actually was I think my first soccer game ever. 1990 World Cup I was following but not as directly as the 1994 World Cup. That was kind of my first real World Cup where I was totally into it and this Brazil jersey back there was really the one that uh, it stood out. It was great. In the end I ended up buying the replica because I liked that Brazil jersey so much. It's not the perfect Brazil jersey because if you look at it, the sleeve trims here, it should be all green, not just uh, a little green and then yellow. That's maybe the one thing that I dislike of this one. But overall, the look with the crests over, uh, the bright yellow paired with the blue pants, it's a wonderful look. And I told my wife, you know, I have not worn this jersey a lot since I got it, but I can't stop looking at it. It's very worth it to be in my top five as number five. Uh, as a kind of modern, more modern jersey, you gotta know. We go to number four, and for number four, I have the 1966 England away jersey. It's definitely the simplest jersey on this entire list. It's a red jersey with the England crest on it. Long sleeve, it was worn. However, it's iconic. It's the only red jersey, I said this before, 
it looks clean and I like the lion crest. I have now finally my England jersey, a white one. I want to have a red one uh, as well. And to me, this is still this is the jersey that the England won the World Cup in. It's kind of more iconic than the white one, uh, which is weird. But it also it makes somehow a little bit more sense. I like the white look. Don't get me wrong, but a red England jersey. There's something special about it, and I really like what I like most about it is that you have the red jersey, and you have just this simple crest in white with the three blue lions popping. Uh, it's a very clean but very classic look. So number four, I have England, 1966. Number three is the another away jersey. I think it's the no, it's the three away jerseys have won the World Cup. It is, of course, uh, Spain 2010. If this was the home jersey, I think I would rank this even higher. This is one of my absolute favorite jerseys ever. Um, I like it. It is so stylish with the dark blue. Then you have the striping in the Spanish flag, and it looks a little bit like a military uniform. And believe me, I am not necessarily a military guy, but this makes such a strong statement. Then the color with this Mandarin style. I just wish there were better numbers on there, but even the crest, it, wonderful, in framed nicely, in full color, very worthy of winning this World Cup. Um, it was a great color-wise, a great World Cup final. I gotta say that as well, and it was won by one of my favorite shirts of all time. And it is the number three shirt on this list. Number two, now many gonna faint. 1970, Brazil home. Possibly the most iconic shirt of all time. Uh, it's also a very simple shirt. It is the yellow Brazil, the blue crew neck, uh, with the uh, green blue uh, crew neck, and uh, just blue sleeve cuffs. Iconic. It's Pelé's last jersey that he wore winning a World Cup. I mean, it's not the last jersey he wore, but he won his wife a final World Cup in that one. Hey, him heading this goal is one of the, the iconic images of the World Cup. It was the one where they had Jogo Bonito, pat down. Um, it was the last one that won the Jules Rimet Trophy. An absolute iconic jersey. Um, I think even a replica of that jersey I would want to have. Of course, the original would be perfect, but you know. <laughs> Who got that money and do you get this even? Probably not. I gotta say that the crest nowadays looks a little bit amateurish, but you know, it is part of the charm. It was the 70s. It was the first World Cup in color. It was the best team or the most flamboyant team uh, winning it. It was the last time that such a flamboyant, attacking, fluid team was winning the World Cup. Uh, look at all the other World Cup winners. They don't have this quality anymore that Brazil had in 1970. Sad, but true. And now for the number one jersey, 1982 Italy home. You know, my favorite jersey that I have in my collection is a 1990 Italy jersey. This is the closest to it. It's not as the, if Italy would have won the 1990 World Cup, uh, that would be my number one jersey. The 1982 jersey though is very similar. It has also the color with the nice Italy flag. I love this detail. Also the sleeve cuffs have the Italy flag, I like this. And then, of course, the classic crest, but I think the 1982, the FIGC down the middle as well. So for the Italian Fair Federation. It is simple, it is blue, it is clean. Maybe it's not as shiny, but I think of all Italy's World Cup winning jerseys, this is absolutely the finest. And it deserves to be in my top one, uh, in my top 10 and it just deserves to be a top. I was actually looking at it f a few times and I said, if I would choose between any of these jerseys, that's the one that wins easily. And I think what puts it always not only that the nice blue shade, but really the color, the shirt color with the Italy flag detail. This is so beautiful. I love this on the 1990 shirt. I love this on, on the 1982 shirt. Um, I actually like I understand that this crest is what Italy should be wearing all the time. Absolutely love it. They had it in 2002. I don't know why they got rid of it. 
So that's my top 10. So there are four left. Let's round it out. And number 11, I have the 1986 Argentina home jersey. Um, it's not a bad shirt, but you know, it has the white strap in, in the middle. Yes, it's Maradona's finest hour, but I find it with the white strap in the middle, I don't find it as nice as the 1978 shirt. And then it was between the 1974 Germany jersey. And I actually think I like that one better because it's a little bit more iconic. Next up, the 1990 Germany home shirt. I know people are going to kill me about it. I never understood that shirt. I never understood what this pattern should be. It's way too bold. And in addition, uh, look at it, how the crest and the Adidas Treffer logo are not lining up. They had this later on. They had it lined up. It looks a little bit better, but I just find it a little bit way too... It's a bold pattern and a pattern that is definitely aged to, 90, to late 80s, early 1990s. Um, yes, it won the World Cup, but I always thought for a German jersey it's just... Compared to 2014, it's also a bold pattern, but it's much more understated. And for that reason, I never understood the pattern. Back then, even I didn't like it. I understood the other German flag, but I never understood why do we have exactly this shape and with the diamonds cut out. If the crest was within uh, this band, I think I could... Uh, I will probably rate this even higher. I think there could be things done here that would make this shirt better, but and they largely did this in 2018, but they, of course they forgot the color. 2006 Italy is number 13. I'm sorry, there's just too many things wrong. From the awkward crest over the navy pattering here, everything centered, uh, weird setup. I never. I want to have this jersey, but I never really liked it that much. And the worst World Cup winning jersey of this period is, and of all time, I think it's a 2002 Brazil jersey. Also want to have that one. Also, the geometric pattern on the side, um, it doesn't look, I think it doesn't even have the, on the sleeve cuffs, there is no green. It just has this green striping. It's just a little bit too much and doesn't look quite right. So for me, that's the worst jersey. Well, let me know what you think about my top 10. Uh, which ones would you have? Where am I completely off? Um, I know that the Germany 1990 not in my top 10, I think will cause a lot of head scratching. Uh, and that I put the 2014 Germany in there, or even the France 9, uh, 2018. Yeah, but I went through it. That's how I feel. Let me know how you feel. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to more, see more top 10s or jersey reviews or my thoughts on games, whatever. And I will talk to you soon. Next week we'll have another top 10. Up until then, bye.